Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 183 of Ronald's Reviews. On today's episode, we've got our top 5 Motu Origins figures. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro, today we are going to give you a rundown of our top 5 Motu Origins figures. Now you may have noticed I said our, and that is because... If you follow the channel closely, you'll know that every so often I enjoy a good collaboration video. A few months ago, you will have seen myself and our Dave over at Monkey Boys Toys run down our top five mask vehicles. But not only do we collect masks, we also collect Motu Origins. So today, myself and Dave are going to take you through our top five favourite Motu Origins figures. Let's get to it. Okay, folks, so we're going to start with my honourable mention and mine is webstore now i just want to start with the card backs now i absolutely love masters of the universe card backs i love the fact that that logo is so big right across the top of the card uh, with the name underneath it so iconic and i just love the fact that it just right across the top of the card rather than just small in the corner like a lot of logos i absolutely love that but webstore is just a great figure i love his color scheme his armor with the emblem on the front i just think looks absolutely awesome and i love the fact that they kept that historical feature, which was obviously he had a backpack with a grappling hook and zip line, which he could climb up and down to help him get up the walls of Castle Grayskull. I love the fact that they've kept that, but I just think this is an absolutely awesome figure. And like I say, as much as I love it, it didn't quite make it into my top five, but so cool. And then quickly taking a look at the back of the card, as you can see there, we've got a few images just showing us that they've kept the feature of the grappling hook and climbing up and down the zip line, which I think is great, and look at that artwork on the back. So as you can see, we've got Webstore there, battling it out with Buzz Off and He-Man in the background, and that is just a stunning image. And one of the features, obviously, of these Motu card backs, absolutely awesome. So there we go, folks. We are starting off with Webstore as my honourable mention. Let's jump over to Monkey Boy and see who he's chose. was fizzing circuit breakers thanks very much for that introduction luke so my honorable mention will be mr broccoli no you're doing it wrong monkey boy what do you mean skeletor this is supposed to be a motu origins top five video not a soft toy vegetable video do it properly right sorry skeletor um that's a nice pink apron you're wearing. I'm not wearing a pink apron, it's your imagination. Get on with it, monkey boy. Uh, right, okay, sorry guys. Um, so my honourable mention will be Man E Faces. Um, I do like this character. I like the, the design, I like the colours. Um, now, because I'm an inbox and on card collector, unfortunately, um, just one of these wasn't enough for me because I wanted to see him with um, his different faces. So I did actually buy another two. Um, it was quite difficult to sort of uh, make sure that I got examples with the different faces showing in the package. Um, rather distressingly, this one has got its tab punched out, as you can see. Um, so I wasn't too impressed with that. But anyway, yeah, um, Manny Faces will be my honourable mention for the, uh, for the pick of the Motu Origins figures. Um, and in case you're wondering, my favourite is the Monster Face. I do like that one. So yeah. There we go. That's my honourable mention. Um, let's see what Luke's got for his number five pick. Thanks, Dave. OK, so in at number five for me is Anti-Eternia He-Man. Now, I've got to admit, when this guy was released, I generally didn't really know anything about him. I, when it comes to Motor Origins, I generally only collect the figures that I recognise from childhood. But when I saw this guy released, I thought, you know what? I've got to own this guy. Who would not want a black and orange He-Man? I mean, just look at that colour scheme. I just think it looks so awesome. All black skinned with his orange features, white and orange eyes. And I just thought, yeah, he looks that good. I need to buy him. So black and orange weapons to go with him as well. And I just could not resist how he looked. I mean, plant a good colour scheme on any figure for me a lot of the time. And it appeals. But yeah, I just could not resist this guy. I think he looks stunning in the packaging and on the shelf. And I just could not resist him based on colour scheme alone because I don't know much about him. But yeah, absolutely awesome. And then on the back, very much like Webstore, we can see a couple of images there showing the features of Anti-Eternia He-Man. But look at that card art image on the back. That is just an absolutely exceptional image. 
and I just think it's like I said it's a feature of these card backs we've always got an amazing image at the top of the card but yeah when I saw this guy could not resist him so there we go folks anti-eternia he-man is in at number five for me let's go see who Dave's got thanks very much Luke well my pick for number five is going to be Faker I really like this uh, figure the, the colors are fantastic um, the blue and the orange really go well together and let's not forget his purple pants um, yeah a really cool figure I do actually have this one loose and <laughs> I'm Batman <laughs> yeah yes I know you're Batman but you're interrupting my video can you get out please <sighs> sorry guys um, as I was saying I do have this figure loose um, which I will show you now but doing here he is um, one thing that's worthy of note on this um, Origins figure is that the um, the transfer that's under his armour um, has been tampo printed. It's not a sticker like it was in the original uh, figure. Um, but yeah, there's not much more to say about him really. Um, he's cool and he's my number five pick. So let's go and see what Luke has picked for number four. Thanks Dave, that's a great choice for number five. Uh, but in at my number four is Stinkor. Now, you might notice a pattern here, colour scheme again, I just love the black and orange colour scheme. I love Stinkor as a character, I think it's a really unique feature as well. Now, uh, the vintage Stinkor, one of the gimmicks was that he actually did smell. Now, I've seen people online with an origin stink on. It had a hole cut in the back of the card, I assume, so you can smell him, because obviously the card indicates that they've kept that feature, but I just love the figure. I love how he looks, that black and orange colour scheme with the white detailing down his arms and on his head. I just think it looks awesome. And then we turn the card around. Now, like I said, I've seen people online with a hole cut down there, but mine doesn't have that. So I don't know if it's the difference between versions, so maybe US and European and things like that. But again, you can see... It's showing you the features. Now that image indicates that it does smell so, but I can't tell because mine doesn't have the hole in the card, but look at that image on the back as well. An amazing image of Stinkor battling with Mossman and just a stunning image again. So yeah, absolutely love Stinkor. So there we go, in at number four is Stinkor for me. Let's jump back to Dave and see who he's got for his number four. Cheers for that, Luke. Well, my number four pick... <coughs> monkey boy! Oh, no, Skeletor, what do you want now? Monkey boy, I want one of your donuts. Can I have one? Um, well, I suppose so, Skeletor. Yay! Um, but can you stop interrupting me, please? You know I'm in the middle of something. Um, and also, you're still wearing that pink apron. What? Uh, no, I'm not. <sighs> goodness sake right sorry guys so as i was saying my number four pick is going to be the sorceress um again we've got a nice orange and blue color scheme um really like that um i always enjoyed this uh, character in the cartoon series i thought she was cool the face sculpt isn't isn't the best um in in the uh, in the line um, but nevertheless it's a cool figure um i do have her loose um, so here she is loose. Um, I like the fact that her wings articulate and you can fan the wings out um, like so. Uh, I think she looks pretty cool. Here's a look at her from the back. Um, nice uh, colour grading on the on the wings there. So yeah, that would be my my pick for number four. Let's have a, a just a quick look at the back of her card just so you can see that. There you go. There's that. And that's my number four pick. So. Let's see what Luke has picked for number three. Thanks, Dave. Okay, so in at my number three is Faker. So duplicating Dave's number five, but of course, Faker is such a good character, he had to be in here. Again, another amazing colour scheme. That blue and orange works so well. Uh, and there's a couple of conflicting stories about Faker. Now, anyone with a better knowledge of Motu might be able to jump in the comments and tell me, but one story states that Skeletor created Faker to infiltrate Castle Grayskull and take over, but the experiment went wrong and he ended up with blue skin. Uh, but then another story says that Man of Times created Faker in an attempt to protect Eternia in He-Man's absence. So I don't know which is right there. Jump in the comments and let me know, but... I just love this figure. I think he looks awesome in He-Man's image. That colour scheme looks fantastic. We've still got the um, control panel on his chest. You can just see it there, but I believe that is now printed and not a sticker, but I absolutely love Faker. I think he's awesome. 
Then again, back of the card, like all the others, we can see the features of Faker. It shows you his armor being removed to reveal that control panel there and all the robotics. And then, of course, another absolutely amazing image of Faker battling with Manny Faces and Ram Man. Uh, we can see He-Man in the background there and another absolutely amazing piece of artwork. So there we go, that is Faker in at number three for me. Let's go see who Monkey Boy's got for his number three. Thanks very much, Luke. Let's see what I've got for number three. It is Scareglow. Right, let's just wait for a couple of seconds in case anything stupid happens. <sighs> no, nope. right, okay. So as I was saying, Scareglow is my pick for number three. I never had Scareglow uh, as a child, uh, so I'm really pleased to have him in the collection now. Um, and it must be said that this figure is the glowiest thing in my entire collection. Um, I do have a number of glow-in-the-dark items, but Scare Glow um, really does shine uh, above all others. Um, once you turn the lights out, this guy really does glow. Um, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the back of his card. There we can see him horrifying Prince Adam. Um, so yeah. Scareglow would be my, my number three pick um, for the Motu figures. Um, I think he's, uh, he's really, really good. And, uh, of course, there's a fish. Over to you, Luke. What have you got for number two? Thank you, Dave. Okay, so in at my number two is Scareglow, and this guy is absolutely stunning. Now, I said earlier in the video, I generally only collect figures uh, from my childhood and characters from my childhood that I remember and that I recognise. Now, I don't remember much about Scareglow from back in the day, but when I saw him, I just thought, yeah, I need to own that as a character. Uh, the vintage version is extremely expensive these days, so this was the only chance I had to own this guy. But look at that figure. Absolutely awesome. And of course, one of the features of this figure is he glows in the dark, and he really does glow in the dark. When I turn all the lights off in this room on a night, you can see him really clearly. And this figure just looks so mean. A ghoul, I believe, um, created in Skeletor's image, but what an absolutely stunning figure. And I've got a big thank you to give for this figure, actually, because I was really struggling to get it. And then, uh, bless him, Chris Miwa from over at Chasing 80s Toys sent me this as a gift, so thank you, Chris. And there we go. So back of the card again, showing us image of the glow-in-the-dark feature, and then once again, another piece of stunning artwork. Scare Glow fighting with Prince Adam and what looks like Clamp Champ, I think that is. But yeah. What an amazing image. So there we go, folks. Scareglow is in at number two for me. Let's jump back to Dave and see who he's got for his number two. Thanks for that, Luke. Great choice again. Um, oh, sorry, guys. Um, my lizard's got out. I just need to... Um, I just need to grab him. Just bear with me a second. I've got to be careful with these little fellas. Right, oh, okay. Sorry, everyone. Um, you know what it's like when your lizards get out of hand. Um, okay, so my pick for number two is going to be the Deluxe Leech figure. Uh, now, I don't think I'm cheating by including a Deluxe figure in this, uh, in this rundown. Um, I've been waiting for this figure to arrive for over a year. Um, I, I pre-ordered this last summer. Um, and it's finally arrived, uh, and I really like it. Um, Leech was one of my favourite uh, of the original um, figures, um, and I really like this version. Um, I particularly like the spare head that comes with him. I think that's a nice touch. I mean, obviously, because I'm an on-card collector, I will never open this to actually see him with his his um, alternate head on, but nevertheless, um, I like the figure. I think it's really good. There's a nice image on the back there of Leech. Uh, and um, is that tongue lash or uh, anyway there we go um, so yeah I think it's a really cool figure the only thing I don't like about this figure is the is this little tab that they've got on the top of his mouth there um, so that you can pull the suction cup off um, the original didn't have that as far as I'm aware um, he's also got those little tabs on his on his hands which is slightly frustrating um, but um, Unlike the original figure, he's, he's also got suction cups on his feet. Um, but I, I really like the, the figure overall. Um, so this is going to be making my number two pick. 
Let's see what Luke's got for his number one pick. Thank you, Dave. Okay, and there we go. For my number one is Trap Jaw. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking that every single one of my choices has been a bad guy, but I've got to admit, I just think all the bad guys in any franchise are the coolest. I think they are the coolest figures in Motu, in Star Wars, in things like Transformers. I just think the bad guys are always better than the good guys. But look at Trap Jaw. I mean, again, I said earlier in the video, colour scheme attracts me all the time, but look at that figure. How vibrant are those colours? I just think Trapjaw is awesome. And I'm always attracted to the goons when it comes to bad guys. I don't know why, but what an absolutely stunning figure. And another massive, massive thank you to give, because this was another figure that I was struggling to get when they were released. And our Connor Fuller over at Fuller's Figures, bless him, sent me this as a gift as well. So thank you, Connor. I absolutely love him. And then once again, the back of the card, showing all the features of Trapjaw, showing all the attachment that he's got as well and then of course once again another stunning image of trapjaw battling it out with he-man and ram man and i just love the card artwork on the back of these card backs they just look stunning every time so there we go folks trapjaw is in at my number one probably not a shock to a lot of people i mean my top five is probably a little bit on the nose dave's is far more diverse than mine but let's jump back and see who dave has picked for his number one Thanks very much, Luke. Um, sorry, some of my um, horses have got out. We're, we're not horses, we're, we're ponies. Right. Uh, uh, sorry, dude. Let me just um, clear these these guys away, and then um, and then I'll get back to you. Sorry, man. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay. Now, can any of you guess what my number one pick is going to be? I bet you can't, because it is Shira. I think this is a fantastic figure. Um, the face sculpt is one of the best in the entire line um, and it's without doubt the best female face sculpt um, that we've got in Origins. Um, absolutely stunning. Uh, I like all the glittery stuff around her headdress um, and her sort of skirty, belty bit, whatever that is. Um, I also like the use of soft goods on the figure. She's got a, a fabric cape, um, a sort of mesh type skirt thing and mesh flappy bits around her shoulders here. Um, I just think the figure looks really, really good. Um, very impressive. It looks really good in hand. Um, here's a quick look at the, the back of the card. There we can see She-Ra fighting Hordak and uh, Mosquito. Um, but yeah, this, um, this would be my number one pick out of the entire line. So might be an unusual decision for some, but um, it was an easy decision for me. This was always going to be my number one. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I'll hand over to Luke so he can wrap up the video, and I'm going to make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here. See you later. Bye. So there we go, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. I just want to say again, thank you to Dave, better known as Monkey Boy, for giving us his top five as well. Appreciate your effort, Dave. Thank you, mate. Absolutely fantastic choices as well. And that number one choice, wow, really out of left field, but what an amazing figure, as you say. Uh, if you don't know Monkey Boy, folks, check out his channel, Monkey Boy's Toys. I will leave a link in the description. You might also see a little purple friend as well that wants you to subscribe to his channel. Maybe give him a shot as well. <laughs> but thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you're on existing viewers and existing subscribers, thanks for sticking with me, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. Let us know in the comments who you would have had in your top five as well. We're always interested to listen to other people. We always try to get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. We'll see you next time.